Welcome back, it's Lynx. Today we're talking about how to set up your pixel tracking for your conversion campaign on Facebook ads. If you do this correctly, it allows you to track the actions that people take on the landing page that you lead people to from your ads. So it just helps you make sure that your ads are working properly and that you're retargeting the right people as you go along in your campaign. My pixel has already been made, so this video isn't going to be about setting up your pixel. It's going to be about using the pixel that you've already set up and using it to track the actions that are taken. I'm still working out how to make a video on setting up your actual pixel, but because I've already made one, some options on my Facebook business manager are not there anymore because I've already set one up. So your screen will look different than mine if you go to set your pixel up. This video is going to be about after you've made your pixel and using it for conversion campaign tracking. Before we get into it, like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my videos. I post one a week. This video is part of my music promotion playlist and I have a whole bunch of videos that you can check out on this sort of thing. I'll link it up above and down below. I'm just going to show you how I set mine up specifically. I know there's a few ways you can do it, but this is how I did it to promote my single, Say What You Want. This is my landing page. I only have my ads running on Instagram stories. If they're interested, they swipe up and it takes you right here. This is the landing page that I wanna start tracking. This is how you do that. We're gonna start right from the beginning. If you go to your page on Facebook and you're like, how do I set up an ad? You're gonna go to Ad Center right here and you're gonna click on All Ads and you're gonna go Ads Manager. This is the page it brings you to. You're gonna click these business tools and you're going to go to events manager and it's going to bring you here. So this page might look different for you if you haven't set up your pixel yet. I have already set up a pixel. So you're going to go set up your pixel first. And once you do that, you're going to go to settings here and you're going to scroll down to open event setup tool and you're going to do this. And whatever is the landing page that you bring people to from your ad, you're gonna put that URL in here. So if in my case, it's this, which is what I mentioned before, and I'm gonna stick it here, and I'm gonna open the website, and then this is going to pop up. Okay, so I already have one set up, so that's why this is here. It's not gonna be there if you haven't done this before, but I'm only tracking Spotify right now. If I wanted to track Apple Music, I would click track new button, and I'm gonna click this one, and I'm gonna say, view content. I'm going to click don't include value on this because I'm not selling anything. So I'm going to click confirm and now it's all set up. And that's, that's it. You just press finish setup and you press finish and then you're done. So it's actually quite easy. Once you've kind of got it all set up, these green check marks are telling me that it's all good. That's done with, you're all set. And now in order to make sure that it's working, you're going to go to test events. So this is back on data sources, back on your events manager. It already has my landing page here. I'm going to click this. Okay. And it brings me here, which is awesome. It shows up right here. It just told me that this worked. The next thing is when you do go in to set up your ads, uh, this is where it's going to be important. You want Facebook to track people that are actually clicking through. You're going to click view content or view content on landing page. When I chose view content, I said this in my last video, not enough people were clicking through to actually listen to the song for Facebook to actually track. Facebook has a learning phase. You have to reach about 50 conversions in order for Facebook to actually start optimizing for the algorithm. What I've done for this one is I'm tracking tracking view content on landing page. So I'm tracking people who just go here right now. Next time, and I'll show you this when I get there, when I release my next song, which is gonna be later this month, I am going to choose view content. But for now it's view content on landing page. Just wanna make this short and straightforward for you. This is how I've set mine up. Once I do release my next single, I'm going to set up a new conversion campaign and go through this process with you for that song. For now I'm still kind of working on getting this guy out there. I hope this is helpful for you. Try it out. You can comment below or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is links music. If you have any questions, again, like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my videos. Share this if it helped you and I'll see you next week.